All right, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites. Out here to rock beside a downfall of your beloved America. You want to start out? We're giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, the whole world, and salutation to your brothers who are pushing this truth week in, week out, in charity, sincerity. All right, bro. All right. Oh, okay. Now, when we say when we say Yahweh. That's the Hebrew name for the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the son name. See what I'm saying? Because the church teaches you God and Jesus, but if you do research and, and look into the history of, of words and letters, right. the letter J didn't come about until the, the, the 15 and 1600s. See what I'm saying? Right. So how could his name be Jesus 2,000 years ago when the, when the letter J just came about? You know what I'm saying? But those are the Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Those are the names you pray for. You know what I'm saying? So, we finna get these in the scriptures about Israel being scattered all over the four corners of the globe. Because contrary to popular belief, that was part of the curses when the Lord drove us out of Israel because of our wickedness and sin that he scattered us amongst the heathens all over the earth. So in that, you're gonna have Israelites that look like these other nations, man. Right. Just, like, uh, just like in basketball, you got Jeremy Lin. That looks like a, a Chinese, but he's actually an Israelite because his father was a so-called Negro. You see what I'm saying? Just like, uh, who else? Uh, yeah, yeah. What you say? Tom Cruise. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You see what I'm saying? You have a lot of celebrities that look like the other nation, that look like the other nation, but they're actually Israelites. You see, you see what I'm saying? So, uh, go ahead with that, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. It's, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 64. It says, And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. See, the Lord shall scatter Israel among all people. That means what? From all 18 nations, Israel has been scattered. See what I'm saying? So you're going to have Israelites that look like Edomites, so-called white men. They gonna look like the Indians, which is the Elamites, the Assyrians, uh, Syria, which are the all Arab. You know what I'm saying? The Chinese, the Japanese, the Ethiopians, Egyptians, North Africa, South Africa, Turkey, uh, Russia, Greek, German, Spanish, and Cyprus. You know what I'm saying? They gonna look like all these other nations. You know what I'm saying? They gonna look like the white man, the Chinese, the Japanese. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Africans, you know, they don't look like them, but they're going to be Israelites. That was that mixed multitude that Revelation was talking about. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it says, uh, and the Lord shall scatter you, uh, scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. Yep, from the north, south, east, and west. Go ahead. And thou shalt serve other gods with neither. Down north, like father, not known, even wood and stone. And see, that's another way Israel has been scattered also. They've been scattered uh, spiritually. Meaning what? Worshiping other gods. They've been scattered from their true power. Not only physically, but also spiritually. Because why? They're in these other religions. These other doctrines. You know what I'm saying? Right. Go ahead with yours, uh, can I? James 1 and 1. James, a servant of the Most High, and of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to the twelve tribes which were scattered abroad. See, to the twelve tribes which were scattered abroad. See what I'm saying? All these other heathen nations, they moved about the earth willingly. Israel was moved unwillingly. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Lord scattered us as a punishment. These other nations have the freedom to go get a passport and go wherever they want on the earth. Go ahead, bro. Deuteronomy 20, uh, 8, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee uh, into Egypt again, I mean, into Egypt again with ships. See, now if you know anything about map, Israel is connected to Africa. Egypt and Israel is right next to each other. So the first time Israel went to Egypt, they walked. But the Lord said, I will bring you into Egypt again by ships. So that means that Israel had to take a voyage. Matter of fact, somebody give me Deuteronomy, uh, what is yeah, it? Yeah. Five and six times. Deuteronomy five and six. I am the Lord 
black power. Which, which brought you out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. So the word Egypt is mean bondage. See what I'm saying? They come from the word Egyptos, which means bondage. You see what I'm saying? So, so good? yeah, it's good. So we're in a modern day Egypt again. So what? Hey, hey, bro, you get up, come on this way. Yeah. So you won't be getting so wet. You know, for well, back up that way. Yeah. But so you won't be getting so wet, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, so that comes from the way uh, Egyptos, which means bondage. Now to prove that we're in Egypt all over again, all you gotta do is go to the back of your dollar bill and what you see in Egyptian pyramid. See what I'm saying? Because why? Even Israel built up the pyramid to prove that. Uh, somebody get me a box from that, nigga. That ain't no mistake, man. Because that ain't even no wind blowing. Yeah. 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 Somebody give me first Maccabees uh, chapter 13 verse 28 to prove that Israel built the pyramid. Because you, know, you got a lot of people saying the Egyptians, the Africans did it. No, it was the Israelites that did it because the Israelites was in slavery, in bondage under the Egyptians, which are the Africans of today. 13 and uh, 28. Well, I thought of verse 27. Black Beast 13. To prove what the brother was saying about the modern day dollar. Yep. You know? You see that pyramid on the back. Block. Oh, yeah. First Black Beast 13 and 28. We'll start at 27. 27. It says, Simon Hustle. And who was saying? That's the brother of the uh, Jewish Black Beast. He said, I want the Black Beast as well. Just lay flat down. One of the brothers of the Maccabees, go ahead. Simon also built a monument upon the sepulchre of his father and his brethren, and raised a loft to the site, with hewn stone behind and before. It said, Moreover, he set seven pyramids. He said, How many? Seven pyramids. See? So, Simon was the one of the Judas Maccabees brothers. They set up what? Seven pyramids. So that proves of what? Israel has built pyramids all over the globe, man. It wasn't just in Egypt or in Mexico, no. Israel built pyramids all over the earth, man. Even, it's even pyramids in the last See what I'm saying? So, okay, that, that, we proved that. Yeah. The water. We proved the point on that that Israel built the pyramids, you know what I'm saying? So, Going back to that in Deuteronomy. Okay, this oh, which one? 28, 68? Yeah. This is Deuteronomy 28, 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bonds men and bonds women, and no man shall buy you. That means no man is going to be able to redeem you. No man, no earthly man is going to be able to set you free. Only person gonna be able to set you Negro, Latino, and every American free is who? You how about Shim Yahweh Shah? Right. Who the world called Jesus Christ, man. See what I'm saying? But see, that proves we were scattered out of our land of Israel that we were sent over into America. So when you tell us to go back to Africa, that ain't hurting our feelings because we're not from Africa. If anything you should tell us, go back to Israel, which is our true land, that's what we're trying to get to. Get the hell away from you peons here, man. Right. See what I'm saying? So, uh, you are really doing it. You're doing it, Kadash. Yep. Romans 9 and 27. 